Articulation ain't that bad. Hey, Crow, what are you up to? Oh, I'm actually just messing with the new Gundam Universe figure, the RX-780-2. It's, it's really not too bad, but yeah, it's a little couple of issues. <laughs> I guess you're like playing with me, you little perv. What'd you say? I said, I guess you're like playing with me, you perv. <laughs> oh. Is, is that disrespect I'm hearing? What? No, uh, that was just a joke. Bruticus, take him to the grinder. What the fuck? No, I didn't do anything. What the shit is this, Crow? What is the grinder? I didn't even do anything. God damn it, Bruticus, put me down. Bruticus! It's really not a bad figure. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Here we have is the RX-78-2 figure from the Gundam Universe line, which is a new line from Tamashii Nations. I, I really do enjoy it. I think it looks really good. The panel lines and everything is fantastic. Uh, this being the first of the entire line, or I guess just the first of the first wave, it's gonna have a lot of ambitious kind of like um, selling points to really bring you in. And you can really see it here. A lot of the you know articulation, all the details, it comes with a little bit more accessories than what the Wing Gundam actually came with, so that's actually a plus. Uh, but overall, it doesn't look bad, so let's go ahead and just dive right in into the details. And don't forget, you can pick up this figure and many others over at NewTypeHQ.com and use that promo code CROSAMA so that way you can get 10% off. So, back onto the details. So the overall details are looking really good. I love the amount of panel lines on this kit. It kind of reminds me of the Master Grade One Year War version. That one had like a very large amount of panel lines all throughout it. So this is something that's really good. And if you just really want to practice panel lining, I mean, here you go. This figure is definitely going to be a good blank canvas for you. Now, one little area I did find that has a little error is this little piece right here, which is kind of like a little part of a runner or nub. Um, yeah, that, that kind of sucks. I mean, all you gotta do is cut it off and it's gonna be no biggie. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of odd to see this on, you know, a little figure. I, it's mostly something that you see on a model kit. But, you know, nonetheless, it's easy to fix. And so for the articulation, the head can move back and forth. Gonna be on a ball joint. Arms can swing back and forth, but man, that doesn't sound good. Shoulders can move up. Arms can move up. Rotation at the bicep, 90 degree bend at the elbow, hands gonna be on a ball joint, body can move up and down, hardly any side to side, a little bit of a twist, front skirts can move up, side skirts can move up, back skirts are fixed, no movement on the thrusters, legs can move forward, sideways, and not really any back. Rotation right here at the hip, a decent bend at the knee, ankle skirt is going to be on a ball joint right here, feet can move forward, and the feet's going to have two ball joints right inside here, so you are going to have a little bit of movement on both ends. And here's going to be everything that he comes with. So for hands, he's going to come with two closed fists, a right hand trigger finger, and a left gripping hand. Now since this was a first edition figure, you are going to have this nice stand that has the etched in Amaro Array, as well as the Gundam right there on the base. So this is a really nice looking stand, uh, which can pretty much go for other high grade Robot Namashis or anything else on that kind of scale. So hey, pretty much use it for whatever you want. And the figure is going to come with the stand attachment, so you just need to plug it right into here and you can attach it right onto the bottom. Next you are going to have the beam rifle. Uh, this is a really nice looking rifle. It's very stylized and kind of more like pretty much more curved in some areas So I, I do like that my problem with this is that the handle in the front this does not bend it's fixed So you know like the infamous pose that it normally has where this kind of rotates right here grabs onto it Yeah, that doesn't exist. So that kind of sucks, but the scope is going to be able to move back and forth uh, So that's not really too bad But yeah, it's gonna be a little bit limited and might pop off Then for weapons, you are gonna have this shield. So looking really good. It's gonna have a lot of etched in details on the inside right here. You're also gonna have the handle that's gonna be kind of like on a little ball joint right there. So you can pretty much rotate it all the way around. Uh, but on the front, it is going to look pretty good. Uh, it's kind of like a weird semi-gloss finish. I, 
not really too into that but regardless it does look pretty decent uh then of course you're gonna have the infamous little cross right there it looks pretty damn good uh overall good color separation and uh, i just maybe wish there was a little bit more gray in there but you know it's kind of like is what it is and you can easily paint some little details right inside there and the way to put the shield on the arm is you basically just put the hand right here on the shield handle, slip this back into a socket, and then you're going to plug that in right there on the side. And if you want to put it on the back, you're just going to take this and rotate it up and plug it right there onto the back. And next you're going to have is the two beam saber hilts and two beam effect parts. So the beam effect parts easily just plug right into there. And it also plugs into the beam rifle. So if you want that added effect of it firing, you got it right. And for comparison, here he is next to the 1.5 high grade RX 78 2 and the master grade 2.0 RX 78 2. And as you can see, it's in the middle of the high grade and the master grade kind of scaling. Um, to be honest, though, I don't really think there is any kind of particular scaling, like, like a 1 to wait, 125 or anything like that. I think it's just six inches and that's it i don't think they're really trying to do any scaling when it comes to these figures which you know I i'm okay with you know this i don't think it's supposed to be to scale at all just have fun with it play around with it it's aimed towards kids and have a good time and to drive my point even further home here he is next to the gundam universe wing gundam so both are same height and you know for a fact the wing gundam is significantly shorter and eh, maybe not significantly i don't want to go that far but it is quite a bit shorter than the rx 78 2 so eh, basically point proven so for my final thoughts i honestly think this is a good figure it's really good for the target demographic that they're going for which is pretty much young teenagers to kids so with that you know it's something that i'm probably going to just pass down to my son he's really going to have a great time with it and it's going to probably protect my kids from getting his little grubby hands on them so this kind of just distracts them and you know the price point is fairly cheap granted you don't get as many accessories as maybe the you know robot damashi however i do think it's still a cool looking figure just to at least play with to display on the other hand ah uh, that might be that's going to be up to you. I can't I can't make or break that decision. But ultimately, you know what? It's super good. It's it's fun to play with. Uh, posability is a little bit limited, but at least it comes with some pretty cool accessories. Um, otherwise, other than that, hey, that's it for me, guys. I really do enjoy it. Uh, you can also get this over at NewTypeHQ.com. Just be sure to use that promo code CROSAMA to get yourself 10% off. Um, and I would suggest for those that live in the United States, maybe kind of add up your stuff uh, to where you're a little bit past the, uh, the I think the 59.99 points. So that way you can get your shipping for free. It just saves you a little bit more money. So maybe get two of these and uh maybe throw in a little something extra but other than that guys that's it for me so uh thank you for watching and like always please rate comment subscribe if you can ring that bell for future notifications and i'll be seeing y'all in the next review bye bye